Brand new news from ChatGPT. If you're a fan of the Canvas feature, which I am, you can now use that in your custom GPTs. Also, Canvas has come out of beta. It's now officially part of ChatGPT. Let's check it out and I'll show you how easy it is to use. All right, so we're in ChatGPT here. We've got a couple things I wanna show you that have just been released and super cool. So notice if we go in our model, first and foremost, we used to have the ability to see ChatGPT's with Canvas in beta mode, that's gone, but it hasn't disappeared. It's simply moved. They've added a new icon here in the View Tools area. We're gonna click on View Tools and you can pick from DALI, you can pick from Search, you can pick from Reason, which is using the brand new O1 model, just came out of preview, and you can use Canvas. And I love GTP Canvas because it creates a collaborative document. But what do I love even more? I love its ability. We can now add this into custom GPTs. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of my favorites. I use this one every day, Felix the Image Prompter. I use this to go ahead and create image prompts that I use in mid-journey and flux all the time. Let's go in and edit this GPT. If I'm creating a new one, by the way, Canvas is on by default, but if I'm using an existing one, I need to go back in and edit it. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down here and it's super easy. Notice I've got another button here, search Canvas and just click there to enable. Now I think that's all you need to do, but in the demo that they did the walkthrough, they did add into the custom instructions to make sure that they used it. So I'm gonna add that into my custom instructions as well. Please use Canvas feature whenever possible. So super simple and easy. I'm gonna leave that in there. I'm gonna let it update. We're gonna go ahead and save it. And then we're gonna give it a try and show you what this looks like when we're creating a canvas. And again, I like this because it makes it so much easier to go ahead and work collaboratively with AI as we do that. Let's make sure we're waiting on the sharing, the updates pending. We'll give it a minute, there we go. And we're gonna view the GPT here. So let's go ahead and take a look. Maybe, there we go, just a little bit impatient here. I'm going to go ahead and shrink down a little bit. So the, this is great because I basically get to just tell it what type of prompt I'm looking for. So I'm going to do one of my normal ones. We're going to do a 3D cartoon animation of a, let's say, an entrepreneur. Actually, I got a better one. Let's do it of a graphic artist in a art studio. So that's it, that's my concept. And what I love about Felix here is I can just give it my concept. I don't have to go into a great lot of detail and watch what's gonna happen. It's gonna actually search its knowledge base and it's now gonna head, go ahead and create it. Now, I made a mistake, I forgot to reload and we probably should have done that so it brought it into Canvas. We'll let it finish up here and then I'm just gonna tell it to move it into Canvas and then the next time we should be okay. But let's make sure I've got my five prompts there. I do and say, please put in a Canvas. Again, you shouldn't have to do that on a regular basis. I forgot to do the reload. And let's see what happens here. We're gonna go ahead, there we go. It's creating the canvas. We're gonna see the screen split here, there it goes. And now I've got a side mode here. What's so cool about this, as soon as it's done, I can actually edit this if I want to, or even have it go back and change things really quick. So for example, I noticed it added whimsical on a couple of these, but not all of them. So if I want, I'm, I can go back in here and I'll say, please add, the whimsical characteristic to each prompt. And what's watch here, what's gonna happen is we're gonna see on the right hand side, it's gonna start scrolling through here and it's gonna show us literally how it's walking through that document and fixing things as we go. Notice over here, it says it's editing. We're watch over here, it'll start in a moment. There we go, it's editing and it should be adding whimsical in. Let's see if it did or not. We'll let it finish up here a second. I think it might've missed it. Never good in a demo when it doesn't work, but I think we're gonna be there. Let's go up and check. So cheerful and vibrant, surrounded by colorful paints. I don't see whimsical, but it's really easy. No, there it did, yeah, cheerful and whimsical. So it went through and added that. Let's say I wanna add cheerful in here. I can also come in here and just click on this and say cheerful and and I can edit that document live, which is so cool. So again, I love this, this is great. And just to have a little bit of fun, let's go ahead and see what the image looks like when we're done creating it. So let's go ahead and take this. I'm gonna grab this first prompt. We'll head over to Mid Journey and we'll give it a shot and see what happens. All right, so we're over in Mid Journey. Let's go ahead and paste that prompt in. I'm gonna go ahead and specify the style I want. We're gonna put in AR 
4.5, I like that, and we're gonna tell it to make sure that it uses version 6.1. There may be other ways to do that, but we can type it right in like there, and notice it's gonna go ahead and create these images for us, and let's just have a little bit of fun here a minute and see what it does. Again, uh, show off uh, Felix here just a little bit. One of the things I love about it is coming up with image prompts can be hard, and just as a reminder, we ended up with five unique prompts there that we can use and test out and again, we can do it in mid-journey, we could do it in flux, we could do it in anything, it'll work anywhere. It's designed for mid-journey and for flux. So there we go. Let's take a look at one of these and just blow it up, there we go. So there I've got my main prompt, a cheerful and whimsical 3D cartoon artist at their desk in a vibrant art studio surrounded by colorful prints, canvases and tools, warm sunlight streams through the large windows reflecting off-polished wooden floors, detailed textures and soft shadows, negative prompt, dull colors, empty walls, lifeless poses, and the negative prompt probably didn't do a whole lot. But we've got a really cool image that we can use, and I've got four more I could go ahead and try if I wanted. But this point's actually about canvas, so I want to just remind you that's what we're excited about. We'll go ahead and just as a reminder, you can access this in the brand new tools icon, and you can choose search, picture, reason, or canvas. And make sure to add it to your custom GPTs because I think it adds a ton of value. So you can see it's super easy to go ahead and use Canvas inside of your ChatGPT. And I want to encourage you, if you haven't used it yet, it's a great time to give it a try. I love the ability to go ahead and edit directly and collaborate in a live document. It's super cool. I'd love to hear your thoughts below. Let me know in the comments. Make it a great day.